back once more to Blood Omen 2. Uh, yeah, yesterday I did a bit of a uh, well a makeup uh, stream because uh, yeah, two days ago the stream was only about an hour long due to well things coming up with family and such, nothing bad. And yeah, I only noticed earlier that I forgot to change the title of the stream then. So yeah, currently there are two. Uh, Let's stream Legacy of Cain Blood Omen 2 number 4 is on Twitch. But yeah, I'll fix that later after the stream. For now though, let's continue on where we left, which was in the middle of the Seraphant Keep. Yeah, uh, hello, hello Beanie. <laughs> uh, Beanie has rats, it doesn't mean that he is a rat. You sure? Let's see, stream hey. manager, this. I still have no idea how I'm supposed to see him or have a correct view of how many people are actually watching. Also, I think I figured out what makes the difference between the different moves here. Oh. Uh, be between these two execution mo moves. I think it depends on if... <laughs> okay, come on, just because... Just because one of the servants shits their pants doesn't mean that there's something here. Yeah, I think it depends on if you are moving or not. So if we are moving now, yeah. <laughs> because we certainly hadn't seen that before. And there he goes again. Let's see, the fox stops here, so. No testing it out on this guy then, unless he sees the body, which I doubt he will. Yeah. Oh, come on, he was still standing up. Okay, take that, drink him. And get another level. <laughs> it's still just a stupid scream. It, it sounds like they took one of his paint screams from getting a hit or something. And that or I said, actually, he sounds more very frustrated. Well, I wouldn't blame him uh, if he were to, if the voice actor were to see the quality of the game that it ended up with. Okay, that sounded a bit more worse than I intended to. Oh, another glow stick. Oh, please tell me I can pick you up and throw you into the water. <laughs> yeah, well, there goes that idea. Oh dear. Oh dear. What, what yeah. are these? Are these hydroelectric batteries or something? That's a good question. Yeah, I, again, I'm not a very good with technology to begin with. All of it sounds very simple, obvious ones, and that one is not one of them. There's a random no. dagger on the floor there. <laughs> Just... wait, wait, what? Yeah, there was a random dagger on the floor. A dagger? And... Why were you... Why are you two down here? Well, I'm guessing this is sort of... This is probably somewhat connected to the sewer system or something. Yeah, but... Still, why are, why are the bufflers here? Someone has to be the butt of their jokes. <laughs> no! No! Mm, no! No! Not breaking with this early! No! No! Uh, uh, right, before I get, I am once again prepared for this dream. Well, yep. more than a million. 
have more Snickers. And I just realized I forgot something myself, so let's quickly do that to prevent more, or to at least lessen the amount of crashes. You forgot to do that? Yep. I, well, maybe I, I mean, remind you that a bit too early earlier. Okay, there we go. Uh, once again, this game doesn't like it uh, when you use, when you run it with multi-processing. And I still can't see a way in this stream manager with the Twitch app of how to view the amount of uh, yeah, <coughs> viewers there are. And, uh, I'm being an idiot again. I can I have a leap ability. Uh. Actually, I actually forgot that myself. Go. Shut up this. Seth. It seems that that keep wor keeps working even with the flow off. So it's, I'm guessing it's not uh, hydroelectric. Maybe it's something to sp Maybe it's supposed to do something to the water. And there's no way we can jump that far. Nope. And how do we get up here? Turn it into a bat? They just I won't fly past. Yeah, I doubt we will get... Now, we might get something like that, but only Take really at the end. Father God! Help me! Okay, <laughs> suddenly not so, uh, suddenly not so tough, huh? And leave you alone, just... <laughs> Wait. Wait. Hmm? What piece did the key? Piece what? What if, what if he's the key? What if you're supposed to possess him? Good point. Help. Okay. <laughs> Somebody help me, please. Somebody help me, please. Uh, I can't do anything. Help Somebody help me, please. Uh, help me. Help. Did the game help just? Me. Oh, for some reason, my health is really Help just me. draining away, and Help I... Me. I think the game glitched? Okay. Uh, oh, hope I think I see already. It is the charm power, but we have to charm that guy. I'm just that guy up there. And the reticule is gone. No, there it is. Help me! Help! Uh, or... Hmm? I get the feeling that we are supposed to charm him, but for some reason, the moment I start, he just panics. And we can't charm through the grates. Hmm. Wait, that, maybe that's the problem. Maybe you need to be on the same uh, platform as him. Yeah, but that would... That would defeat... Help! Somebody help me, please! Help! That would defeat the Somebody purpose, because me, if we were up on the same area as him here... Help. Then we wouldn't need to charm him. True. But I really see no other way to get up there. There's that door over there, but... Hmm. Yeah, I, maybe one way... No, we can't stand on this. It... And that's what happens when Kane falls into water.
Well, if we lock it, it might have the own glitch now. Maybe, if that even was a glitch. Oh. Wait. There is really something there. He punched through him, then dropped something to the ground. His heart. Presumably. Yeah. Might be his heart, though. He seemed to have uh, crushed it. Okay, come on here, you. Hey, Finkan! Have you seen your cowardly lion? Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Was that a good game? I think I think Kane just answered. <laughs> yeah, it is dependent on if you are pressing forward or not. Ow. And this guy's just gone back to his patrol, huh? Wait, you mean the rat? Uh, this one. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Uma said something about um, oh. enemies visibly tiring or something, but I have yet to see them become, well, vulnerable. Other than when they are on their stomach trying to crawl away, but then you, then you can't grab them anymore. Wait, wait! I got it now. What if you just took put the control down while on one of these other platforms? Hmm. The way you're standing now means you're on the same level as the others. Uh, closer, but not completely. Uh, then it would probably be out of range. Okay. Oh. You should not be standing up after that. Or that. Uh, that? Okay, that, that oh. seems. <laughs> that seems to be a slight disadvantage to sword weapons is that you can't throw people. Wait, you mean you can do it when you have a dagger and mace? Yeah, we haven't seen what the forward grab attack is. In the others, that has been the throw, um, or with the giant ass blade, a, a, plain, a straight up de de decapitation. Now I really hope we can do some other weapon to experiment with. Yeah, there's that dagger on the floor there that we can use to see what happens with the that. Here it is. It's just randomly laid out on the floor here. Oh, hold on a moment. Nope, not that. <laughs> what will it do when we use the dagger to execute? Uh, so, so basically the same, only with a shorter blade. Yeah, with a long dagger. It's, it's quite a brutal weapon. Yeah. Hmm. 
Okay, let's give it this one more shot with the charm. It is our newest power, so you would assume that it'd be needed to get through here. Yep, yeah, that now it, he's absolutely fine with it. Okay. Now then. Stay back. They have... Oh wait, that's not more. There's some makeup? Yep. <laughs> what the heck? And it seems with the dagger is just a plain stab in the chest. And <laughs> for someone who's been stabbed in the chest, he uh, is still mobile. <laughs> Okay, this well, was pretty obviously. Day. And we call that a dedicated dungeon to wanna live. Another dagger? What are okay. all these daggers doing here? I wanna swear that. Wait, did you say something about chewing? About what? Uh, I thought you said something about chewing or. Uh, there was only one way to go with the water drains. So oh, yeah, well. it was rather obviously the only way to go. <laughs> Okay, then I miss her then. Well, I was showing him some food. <laughs> oh, come on! I'm getting really annoyed by these guys' invincibility frames when getting back up. There we go! Not too invincible now, are you? Let's see, anything useful around here? I thought we wanted to give them so many mean swearing, but I can't do it. Okay, that, that's quite a little ni nice little design. Just... Actually, yeah. Hold on. Ah. Switch. Must be an older model. Okay, checkpoint here. Is it just me or... It looks like the blood is going down a lot faster when using a power. What? Is, no, I'm, I think I'm just imagining it now, but with the during the possessions earlier, it did seem <coughs> like uh, Kane's blood was draining very fast whilst the uh, servants were panicking. Yeah, it might be due to our glitch. True. And don't forget to save. Yeah. Oh, that, and I don't think I can be get used to that uh, way of uh, drinking blood. Especially not earlier when it looked like you sucked the, his blood through his arse. Uh, yeah, Kane's too high and mighty to uh, dirty his hands, literally. Yeah. Okay, what's over here? Okay, some cages. Uh, just because I, or, uh, just to clarify, because I almost forgot, but we are here to free Uma because she got captured. Apparently she knows something to destroy the va the Seraphine Lord. Uh, yes, apparently she didn't bother to tell anyone else. Or maybe she only just found it out. I don't know. Yeah, could have been the too short notice to tell them. Like, sometimes... Yeah, sometimes you need a proper time to explain it. <laughs> okay, that was cool. Painful. I see someone strung up there. Let's see what's behind this thing. Yep, just one of those glyph markers in the stairs. Yeah, a lot of this glyph magic just looks to be, well, 
electricity but rain. Okay, not even a weapon in here. Which does make sense. This is a prison after all. You wouldn't find... Or you'd hope to not find any weapons in the cells. Yeah. Yep. But why is this here then? Good question! They are unsure if that power is electricity, but I suspect it works damn similar to electricity. Yeah. At least it doesn't need a power plant, it just needs whatever it is uh, to work. I'd call that a better way of getting of throwing someone down than the Sparta kick. Stab them, then toss them off a cliff. Yep. And they should stay dead that way. Okay, let's see. There's going to be a frick yes, there's a barrier in there. These these people are freaking paranoid with all these barriers. Then again, well we all can already see what one vampire can can do. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, that blocked off that door, but we couldn't open that door, I think, so... Yeah, that was only a positive. Oh, now it is open. Okay, and we just turn that thing, the, vi the valve up there back around, and then we can move on. It's a bit odd that the switch like that is operated with a valve. Think a yeah. sw you you think an actual switch would, would work better? Yeah, no. it seems to be either liquid or gaseous form uh, that energy. It's another checkpoint, another save point. Another day, another coin. Oh, don't I sound a damn sad. Okay, now we have an empowered sword. Wasn't expecting that door to open. Okay, a door we actually can't open for once. Hello. I... That There's nothing in here. Open. There's a switch, and the box behind you looks like it can open. Uh, open, I mean, move. No, it isn't lining up. Huh. Okay, I guess this is where they introduce oh, locked doors <laughs> like that. Who is that? Yeah, and I saw something you want to fight. Yep. Hello. What's the matter? I saw guards running down the stairs. I've no idea, my lady. Go and find out. Is it a fire, an attack of some kind? Perhaps we should wait until someone comes and tells us. Did you hear me? Do you know who I am? Lady, perhaps I should simply escort you to the garrison. Certainly they would be able to tell you there what is the matter. Oh, very well. Yeah, it would also be the most time efficient, because if you have to... If you send someone to go check on something, then they have to go over there, get back, and hope that you didn't move <laughs> somewhere else in the meantime. Yeah. For once, the noble lady was not a coward. Thank you. 
you. <laughs> I, now I want to see what this thing does when you stealth attack with it. Hey, fat ass. <laughs> okay, we're stuck in a chair for a bit there. Okay, just vanish. Where did he go? Yep. Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did you come from? Kane, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so just straight up trying to split him in half. Damn. Ah. Oh, damn it. It's another one of those uh, over there that I saw earlier. Yeah, and at least we have an extra axe over there now. Yep. Hmm. You have the question why is the mist in the building? Yeah. Before we forget. Okay, there's a lot of blood in these guys, which makes sense with how big they are. Yeah, big boys, big guns. Okay, we're stuck between two. Uh, I forget what they call these things. Barriers. Yeah, and there's two doors here that both do nothing. Anything to hide? Oh wait. Uh, is this? Can these? No, these can't be moved. For a moment, I thought there was my maybe a puzzle with these things. Yeah, but they look they look almost like they're not part of the environment. Like you can move them around. Hmm. I doubt we would have been able to possess one of them. Because that's typically the case with games where you uh, do get mind control powers. And Anim alert enemies, or well, enemies in general are typically too uh, strong-headed to get possessed. Or maybe this will prove to be the exception of the case. Nope, we outright can't possess. So much for uh, Kane's impressive mental capabilities then. Is yeah, that with the barrier blocks? Seriously, what am I supposed to do here? What are we missing? It's not a distance in the audience. What? I saw something flashing up there. Is there a servant up there? There's there is something up there. I but see. It, I don't see. It, look up there by that door. Ah, there he is. That one I did not see, but saw something flashing by the, the door you were uh, under. Okay, what do we interact with? Uh, I mean, I'm aware. Uh, I try to jump, but that instead cancels out the spell. Okay, so we can't jump whilst possessing something. That's the thing I saw, the blinking, uh, flashing, that thing. Okay, and we, uh. we can't go off this ledge, come on. What? So, no matter how strong Kane's uh, possession is, 
it's still to not it's still uh, weak compared to this guy's uh, unwillingness to get his feet dirty or something <laughs> Anything else here? He he literally <laughs> he literally refuses to put his foot up or down a tiny bit. Yeah. Hello there. Uh, I think that was enough to open one of the barriers. Yeah. Though, okay, when we got you close there, the possession ended on its own. So I'm guessing if you get too too close. Uh, to an enemy uh, while possessing, you get knocked out of it. Yep, and behold. Yeah, the Seraphan Lords. That's. Uh, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> oh, did I see the expression on Kane's face there <laughs> correctly? I, th I think I just blinked at the wrong time to miss it. Taste my blade. Ah! I'd rather not. Oh, oh, come on, game! <sighs> it's it toggled to di to her. Like this game really does not know how to handle toggling between multiple enemies or something. Okay, can we grab and uh, these guys somehow? Oh, I can. Ow! Wait, how do you fade the competition there? There's big as shoulder pads. Ah! That and the, that and his health isn't low enough. Alive, still alive. Okay, the, the trick with these guys is to block their yeah, is to block their barrage. At least we got close enough to this thing to activate it. Yep. Already tired. You are a lousy guard. Yeah, we need to block them till they tire themselves out. And then we we have a window of opportunity. <laughs> Pardon me, lady. Just need to smack some sense into this idiot. Okay, but that, it, that does basically make it a waiting game to deal with these guys. Oh. Don't hurt me. Well, that took shorter than expected. <laughs> okay, I don't know, but something about the experiment and the evilness in me. Maybe I'm just misreading the painting a bit, but it looks like he's just a silly. Just Kane's face just looks com com you know, completely filled with silly surprise or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can see Derek that that's not the Seraphim Lord up there. Um, I'm trying to remember the intro, but I'm drawing a sort of blank. Yeah, sort of blank. I'm drawing a blank. Ilian, that's a Hildred. Yeah, that... Well, the, the green glow pretty much gives it away. But... Yep. Though it is not... It is a bit badly painted, so you can't see his horns. Oh, also, double. you... There we uh, go. Just... <laughs> just to fill up. You literally pop it up open like a bottle and drank him. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, hello there. Greetings, vampire. You have mistaken me, madam, for some thing I am not. Don't waste my time. I know what you are. I work for the Cabal. Now listen carefully. Speak then, madam. The woman you seek is held in one of the upper towers. Very good. How do I get to her? Not so fast. You will need to pass this ward gate, and you will need me to open it for you. Then do so at once. In due time. First, there is another task that must be completed. What task? A nobleman of some importance is visiting the keep at this moment. He must be killed. So that you may open the ward gate. Do you think me a fool? Open it! He must be killed, I tell you. He is a traitor. He has done immeasurable harm to the Cabal. I swear it. Do I look like a common assassin? The ward gate will not be opened until that man is dead. I promise you. His name is Artemis. You will know him by his blue cloak. When he is dead, when his lying tongue has been stopped, I will open this gate and not before. Will you do it? Apparently, I have no choice. Go. Kill him, Cain. Rip out his cruel heart. Return when the deed is done. For a moment I was thinking, um, I think I might have already killed him, but no. <laughs> yeah, uh, that sounded a bit oddly personal. Ah. Okay. Nice one, game. I thought maybe I could just sequence break it by possessing her, but no. Hmm. Well, there he is. And two of these beefy boys. Yeah, come on, open the damn candy bar. <laughs> so that's what I've been hearing for like five minutes. <laughs> you trying to wrestle <laughs> with a rapper. <laughs> Apparently the uh, the rapper <laughs> has the advantage. <laughs> I ah. Oh, you will get. I want to say that's an interesting invasion, but no, you will actually get a hit. Oh, hello. I can just skip straight to come up. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> that's uh, weird. Uh, I was thinking, I was trying to sneak up on one of the big boys, only for, well, the targeting to switch to another. <laughs> but that also works. Hmm. Who are you, actually? I expected to say something more from that. Yeah. Uh, you are coming straight for me, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay. Taste my blade. <laughs> then I. Uh, stupid! <laughs> oh, you are such a <laughs> weakling if you could. If that's. Tired after one swing like that. Okay, you got me there. That you <laughs> He got me there. Okay. Yeah, they say to all most of the time they get you it's by bad to move. Okay, let's just deal with this quick. Where did he go? Not far, actually I am right here. Yeah, that was his heart. And even when he steals someone else's heart, Kane is still a heartless bastard. <laughs> oh dear. 
Yeah, I, I was hoping these might have a bit of more lore, but it's basically just the Seraphine Lords smiting vampires. Already dead. Okay, so I guess there is a difference in the amount of damage that the weapons deal. Yeah, and this this weapon is mm, yeah. This one's the most damaging so far. You have mistaken me, madam, for some thing. Wait. I am not. Don't waste my time. I know what you are. I work for the cabal. Now listen carefully. Speak then, madam. The woman you seek is held in one of the upper towers. Very good. How do I get to her? Not so fast. You will need to pass this ward gate, and you will need me to open it for you. Then do so at once. In due time. First, there is another task that must be completed. What is it task? me or is does her a voice noble sound familiar? Some importance is visiting the keep yeah. at this moment. He must be killed. She so that you may open the ward gate. Familiar. Do you think me a fool? It could open just it. be a voice actor be known for uh, a additional voices. Harm to the cabal. Yeah. Then again, then we also have the Do voice actors like that are everywhere. The ward gate will not be yeah. opened until that man is dead. I promise you. His name is Artemis. You will know him by his blue cloak. When he is dead, when his lying tongue has been stopped, I will open this gate and not before. Will you do it? Apparently, I have no choice. Go. Kill him, Cain. Rip out his cruel heart. Return when the deed is done. I like how neither of the two there gave a damn about the corpse. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can pull this trick off again. Hello. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> Apparently those uh, giant shoulder pads aren't good for peripheral vision. <laughs> Yep, yeah, and he doesn't have that uh, flashy light sensor. Never mind. Okay, that was quite a lot of damage. Which is to be expected by with enemies that can do like half a dozen attacks. <laughs> in one combo. <laughs> okay! Yeah, there those uh, giant ass shoulders were less in the way. <laughs> Hello there. Back. No, I will not stay back because I require your head. <laughs> <laughs> Better. <laughs> There's just something hilariously stupid about using the hilt of that big ass fucking axe to just yeah. boop someone in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then suddenly just drink him like a bottle of wine. Again. Okay, is that uh, oh. armored baby face coming to come charging down the hall here again? No idea, but I think I'm kind of weird that she didn't see anything. There, right. Okay, let's move away from them. Yep, he's going to follow anyways. Yeah. We should probably do that as a tactic. Because our civilians, let's move away from them. 
Seriously? They're following up? Ah, come on. Are you people that bored? Okay, if he gets that attack in one more time... Okay, he's already dead. And so are you two in a moment. <laughs> and they both play. <laughs> Jade was stuck auto running there again. Get back here. You missed a spot. In your face. Yeah, it keeps toggling. Be it the game keeps switching between the auto phase being at hold and the toggle. And uh, are you just denying you saw anything happen? It won't help you. Apparently it will. <laughs> she, don't hurt me. she denies the existence of vampires so hard pain a cane couldn't touch her. Still going after that? Okay, you are tough. <laughs> Am I just dulling my blade here? There we go! <laughs> okay, she was tougher than the dumbass in the armor. <laughs> what the heck? I heard of a tough lady, but come on! Ah, now we are in the sealed ward? Or no, no. Or not. You are in the very rusted elevator. Oh, hello there. That is a very loud elevator. Oh, come on. enough okay that is enough that that does confirm that this thing does more damage than other weapons because with the sword I think it took like three times to finish them off kind of makes sense like just look at the damn thing yeah even if it's a blade weapon the weight of it alone is enough to yeah wreck someone in armor And that reminds me, last time we were ta starting to talk a bit about... Or I was thinking about talking a bit about the difference between plate and chain mail. And the differences that does. And hello. Oh. Uh, plate mail is good at preventing piercing damage. Like, uh, well, except for longbow arrows and such. Uh, since... Yeah, since... Sharp, since pointed weapons have will be more likely to clash off of it, or sort of bounce, but not really. But yeah, hammer strikes, those uh, cover a larger area and will rely more on blunt force trauma. So plate armor is less effective against that. Actually, it would probably be more make things worse. Yeah, depending on the quality of armor, even if you don't dent the armor with a hammer, you may still have a br few broken ribs and very painful bruises. Yeah, and Chainmail on the other hand, it, I only now realize that this stupid light has been off. Uh, I, I should put in another USB multi thing there so I can have everything plugged in at the same time, even if that might be a bit nutty. Uh, yeah, basically the thing with chainmail is that it uh, it takes the the, f the impact from hammers and such, and it spreads it out over a larger area because it basically ripples like water in a way. But on the other hand, it's not good against anything with a point, as those will just 
slip between the rings, so to, so to speak. Yeah, depends how tightly the rings are made, but yeah. They, they did make a special arrow I just to, to get through main armor. But there were some arrows that were very much useless against main armor. Okay, we need to be careful because it's we still haven't gotten a new checkpoint yet. Reminds me, I saw some videos, some guys that have made a proper chest plate armor and tested the longbow arrows against it. And good go to the results. You have mistaken me, madam, for some. The arrows I am not. shattered upon impact against Don't the plate. Waste my time. I know what you are. I okay, that's cabal. new. Because I thought uh, the longbow Speak is basically the woman were able to pierce through uh, plate armor. Because of just the amount of force behind them. The, the, they may so depend fast. on the range and the quality as well. Gate, and you will need you know, the amount of battles they were effective you. against made of nice uh, and so made their armor start to rust time. and stuff. It was about they get shot to rest properly. You all take probably care of it during the rain and such. A noble but, yeah. of some importance However, is visiting the keep at this moment. There are other areas of armor you can shoot up with a longbow. So that you may open the ward gate. Yeah. You think me a like, fool? I'm socket of the helmet. It. He must yeah. be killed, I tell you. That one is the a longbow would definitely shut the truth. He has done immeasurable harm to the cabal. I swear it. Do I look like a common assassin? The ward gate will not be opened until that man is dead. I promise you. His name is Artemis. You will know him by his blue cloak. When he is dead, when his lying tongue has been stopped, I will open this gate and not before. Will you do it? Apparently, I have no choice. Go. Kill him, Cain. Rip out his cruel heart. Return when the deed is done. Uh, basically, for people watching with no real knowledge on the longbow, it, the longbow was basically the bazooka of that a of its time, because the people who could use it were trained with it from, well, not from birth, but from. Did both of those no. not notice me? They were basically s trained since boyhood, because well, the longbow was as tall as a person, so you'd need a fuck ton of strength to be able to pull that thing. Yep, and they uh, give it some special brother resource. Like, if you've ever seen okay. night elves, males, yeah. the person basically grew that kind of torso and arms almost. Where did he go? So yeah, if you're trained longbow long enough, you will have a very oh. unique body physique. Yeah, because you'd basically be doing... Well, you'd, you'd probably look like Knuckles from Sonic Boom. <laughs> mm -hmm. All upper body strength and uh, no leg. Well, but I would be happy skinny legs, probably. <laughs> then again, some professionals did uh, develop special uh, body shapes, like many smiths actually ended up being very broad shouldered and big armed due to their work. Yeah. And it, it passed on to the children as well. Okay. I'm presuming that would be more so because they'd be helping with the work from young on, from a young age. Yeah, so if you have a, a family line of smiths, there's a good chance that they'd be broad shouldered and uh, large armed. Which makes sense considering what they work with. And, you know, swing with a damn hammer. Okay, this time we're just going to ignore all of these armored idiots. Because I doubt anyone will want to sit through this again for a fourth time. Yeah. You need a better checkpoint. Taste my blade. How about you taste my dust? And kiss my ass while you're at it. Who the heck so much rust? You expect the Seraphim to take better care of this? 
If they're anything like the Seraphan in Soul Reaver, in Soul Reaver game, then yeah, it makes sense that they are. They probably think that it'll still keep working no matter what because of how high and mighty they think of themselves. And we all know how the saying goes: pride comes before the fall. Yeah. Let me switch to this now to help fight these guys a bit. Uh, I still need this one. Whee! And now we're back at where we entered this this area. And here's the guy that we possessed. Die, fiend. Oh, I <laughs> used that lame of a fighter. Just... <laughs> 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 Will you sleep on your yarn? <laughs> you didn't wake me a nap. Oh. How about we put you to an endless nap? What are you? Okay. Alright then. Now we can step down on that area on the other side here and yep. flip this switch. Ah, there we go. Finally. That's a bunch of them. I like how Kane's reaction to danger is like a cat. <laughs> hmm. It's special. I feel like there's a special one there might have glue armor. I didn't notice it made a difference between them. Yeah, the one first entering the door had a bit more detailed armor. Okay. Like if it was, was an elite version. Okay, like similar. Time to die. Okay, yeah, more detailing on the armor. <laughs> As well as the, uh, the symbol in yellow. Or, or, mother f So if if that attack hits, Kane wasn't moving sideways like I told him to. So I think he got stuck in auto walking again. Like I don't get why this game just gets stuck with things. It's like it's going for sticky keys or something. Yeah. Uh, come on, Kane. And Kane went from a cat to a gorilla there. <laughs> there he is. Wait, that's a yeah. one? Yeah, that is like the one that we were fighting there. It's probably run one rank up. Oh, no, I guess we have to. Now we are in a disadvantage. Yep. Though now we have a. We dig. Now we don't have a weapon to break. So much for a disadvantage, huh? That was a bit surprising. Let's Ew. see. That one looks slightly different. Like it, it has a bit different coloring. 
Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, we basically set that off in our own face. But I, I very much doubt those guys can climb ladders. Famous yep. Well, okay. So while well, he wait, does this literally? Okay, yeah, I, I, <laughs> because it was so dark, I didn't see the flooring here. But this big, yeah, this does lead into the same room. <laughs> I did not think that would actually work. <laughs> bye bye. Hey, what the? <laughs> <laughs> that was just pure luck, I'd say. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Oh, you rather be a sandwich? Sir, I don't believe anyone is allowed up here. You see, we believe there may be a uh, vampire on the premises. The guards have locked all the doors, and the upstairs lever is acting a bit spotty. But it then keeps resetting itself. I would just return downstairs. Oh, I do have permission to be here. It's oh called this. God. Help me! <laughs> I think he doesn't have a problem with me being here anymore. Okay, so this thing keeps resetting itself. Okay, what does it do then? Is there actually any... Yeah, I kinda like that little uh, combo call hint. I think it, it... The lever just went back up. So it did reset. Oh, I... It probably opens up the door downstairs. I don't understand the delay. I need my payment. We will not be making any further payments. But our agreement... Conditions have changed. Our agreement has been suspended. I have deliveries waiting. I can't send them back. Throw them into the sea for all I care. Throw them? We won't be needing them. But my contract! I can go to a higher authority over this. I suggest you take your losses without another word and go! I'll talk to the council. We won't stand for this. By order of the Seraphim Lord, you shall do no such thing! Wait. What are you doing? And that was to be expected. Yep. Uh, I was tr wanting to try out if... Uh, Okay, there's no way I'm not getting detected here. Die. Yeah. Oh, okay, that was enough to take him out, okay. Uh, but yeah, that was basically... Uh, yeah, the deal has changed or something. Pray I don't change it further, but uh, in me... <laughs> vampire fantasy. <laughs> Okay, uh, what I wanted to try out on that guy was to see if uh, moving backwards or sideways has any effect on the execution animation. Yeah, alright. Okay, is that the tower? Actually, where do we... Ah, switch. Okay, so the only way forward is literally a, a hidden passageway. Hmm. 
But clearly, they really did not want the uh, uh, anything to do, do with the council. Uh, yeah. Uh, just basic corruption. Just if the higher ups learn of it, it uh, well if the ones that's if the higher ups that aren't corrupt hear of it, it can cause trouble. But yeah. typically, in cases like this, if there there's corruption among the foot soldiers, there's corruption among the commanders. So it, it was probably more likely a case of. Uh, him not wanting his commander to find out or something that he was uh, fleecing the populate fleecing the merchants or something yeah since if you don't, that goes public that's a problem for them okay over seven already 90 percent through okay we're almost done with this level and yeah I'm guessing we have at least two more levels to go after this. Probably a third and final one. Hmm. Roche, I this, this might be the one to show the games. What of the what? Is this one to show the games? Uh, it does look to be that way. Though we are still at uh, the fifth episode and I think the other Soul Reaver games took us like uh, six or so each. Uh, except for the Defiance. That one probably took longer. Bodies were found downstairs. The intruder is near. I want you to patrol the courtyard. Yes, sir. I guard the cell. Move out. Okay, they're smart enough to figure out that yeah, the, an intruder is probably going for the high-value prisoner. Now then, let's see if sideways movement has an effect on the execution. No, it's just it's just uh, stationary stealth kills and movement stealth kills. Let's see. Can we lure you into the fan? Oh, you have uh, you have glowy armor, so you you are impossible to sneak up on. All right. Let's see if we can find the other one then. Deal with him on his own to make it fighting that guy easier. There he is. Yep, and he's even guarding the switch to the door. Yeah. 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 Okay. Get up and get in my hands. Oh! What the thrones? That that attack is just never not going to be funny. Yeah, I'm good in the host and shoot the head. And now we're talking about bottom line. Okay, there's no point in hiding from this guy. So let's take this. Okay, that should weaken you plenty. Plenty, but not <laughs> completely. Okay, alright. Yeah, that, that's a big ass sword. <laughs> Gimme! Wait, hold on. Hmm? What does the boss counter? Yeah, no, I'm guessing that all, all of the bosses are going to be vampires. Because yeah. yeah, we we have three power slots left, so I'm guessing we'll face three more uh, vampire bosses and then the Seraph and Lord. Uh, again, even though he did feel like a mean boss at least. 
And it could be that we get something from Umar. Kay. I thought no one would dare attempt to rescue me. You are either brave or foolish. You will find me relentless. <laughs> there must be a glyph nearby that powers the ward. Find it and shut it down. What was it that you learned in the industrial quarter? Tell me in case I cannot free you. Tell you now, before I am freed. What would you do in my place, Cain? I would offer my rescuer a token of trust. That information is for Borodor only. Haven't I earned your confidence yet? You have not rescued me yet. Very well. I will return shortly. Okay, so she only found it out after we split up. That explains. Probably could have assumed that earlier. It it would make, uh, make sense, yeah. Okay, but where are these... Where is this cliff going to be then? Is there any piping visible? Wait, the pipe looks like it goes outside. We have this one here, but I'm pretty sure this one turns... Uh, yeah, that that's for the front door. So there must be other cliffs nearby. Hmm. Let's see... I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing piping for the second barrier here, because there's obviously... Wait, why is there one of... Why is one of these... Or is there... The okay, I have an idea, but it might not be a great idea. I think we might have to... Pos I think this switch over here controls both the entrance and the shields that's uh, that's keeping us from Uma but if we open it then yeah this one stays active so the only way I can really think of to well ac activate it again when we are inside is by possessing something someone but that will leave the problem of us being alone in here without somebody to possess. I was not trying to do that again, I was trying to turn around. I'm trying to think of if, if there's something else we're missing for yeah, to say what you have, you have done yourself here. So there might be something else we may miss around here. It wouldn't really fit in with the rest of the game so far that they'd send us on a backtracking quest. Because everything else so far has been a linear line. A linear line, that's... that. That's a line that's a line, <laughs> basically, that what I said there. Yeah, one-way track. There are no other entrances. We wouldn't have been able to mind control or to charm one of the soldiers. I'm thinking. We haven't really tried it on smaller enemies, I think. Hmm. Let's see. Just, you won't even go in there. Okay, so that idea is blown. There's nothing up here except for the empty blood chest. And for some reason, boiling oil or something. It doesn't look like oil to me, it looks like stew. Yeah, I don't think invaders would care much if they were showered with you know, hot stew. Oh, d you say that? Wait until you place the wrap of uh, the whole thing's burning hot silicon colony. 
I actually like chili con carne. Cowards. Savage. <laughs> actually, I think there's actually a theme from Warhammer. That the halfling has a giant slingshot that hurls away pots of scorching hot chili con carne. Okay. I think it's called chili con carnage. But again, it is a bit of a semi yoke army, like the uh, Halfling Raids giant roosters. And one of the elite troops are called Halfling Angry Housewives. Oh, come on. It's a very old army list, so I'm unsure if they dare to canonize it any further. Yeah, the only solution I can see is possessing somebody, but there's nobody in the area to possess. That or there's something else we're missing that might be right under our noses, like... Another could door? Be, could, be, could it be something with that uh, thing in the middle? It, it kind of looks suspicious, doesn't it? Yeah, it's your standard uh, effigy. Wait, hold on. Look at that side. Then look at the other side. There's a red gem here. Why is there a gem missing on the other side? Can I jump to the roof here? Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I I have no idea how to continue here. So this is our first time going for a walkthrough? Yep. Because I literally see nowhere to go. Because, well, the way to the second tower there, we ha it, where it's blocked, but we can charm the servant on the other sides to open it back up, I presume. It's lit. It's literally this glyph. But oh, hold on a second. What if? We are not fast enough for that, no. And that would only be to stop inside. Yeah. Right. And I can't get a sight on the device inside, so I can't say if it's inactive or not. Presumably it is, but again, we are stuck outside. <laughs> Yeah, we just plain can't catch up with that. Okay. Walk through time. But always I feel like we're probably going to end up uh, spending the rest of the stream here. But I have a feeling it's going to be something painfully obvious. See, I and don't want... But is it painfully obvious or painfully? How the heck would you figure that out? Let's see. Seraphan Keep. Okay, this is that. Let's see how much percentage? Ninety percent. The this walkthrough has noted each checkpoint with the percentage completion. Uh, wait, what? Oh, come on! I told you! I told you! It was something that you should not be able to figure out. So, that... 
Yeah, we weren't what? able to move those things before, so why now all of a sudden? Yes. Yeah, then again, we didn't really investigate the room properly to be in with. We, we were busy investigating everything else except that room. Yeah. Well, we were investigating it, but we were looking for cables. Yeah, but... Uh, secret passage would have been the answer I'd have come up with. <laughs> so, the hell is this thing? Um, you sure all you want to know? Looks like an incomplete trebuchet of some sort. You're hurt. It's nothing. We must get to the roof. Once I am outside these ensorcelled walls, I can use a spell to transport us back to Sanctuary. <gasps> no! At last! What living soul disturbs my order? What creature dares shed the blood of my servants? He had the sword. Soul Reaver, the prize I had won a lifetime ago, was in his foul possession. What is this? You know me. No. You were utterly destroyed. So easily. Your name was drowned in the backwaters of passing time. All your plans were set alight and seared to smoke and ashes. Let those words be your epitaph. You dare dream of killing me. That fantasy was quenched in blood long ago when I defeated you. And yet, you have learned nothing. Such a pathetic creature. Dare you to challenge me again? Die! Fiend! No, the king! Your death is fated at my hands. How many times must I teach you that lesson? He is too strong for you, Cain. With the Soul Reaver, he can kill us both. We must flee and fight him when we are stronger. No! Release me. That demon of filth is mine. I am your fate, Cain. Now and forever. However long you delay, you will come to me for your end. Okay, uh, big motherfucker. Uma, alive and safe. Cain, you have all our thanks. I can follow orders when it suits me. We met the Seraphan Lord. He showed himself? He is a touch more powerful than I expected. And he has the soul, Reaver. Strange that you did not tell me this at the first. You are not ready to fight the Seraphim Lord. I told you that. It was only by good fortune that we escaped. Borodor, I must speak with you. You have information for us, I know. You may speak. I was in the heart of the main factory in the industrial quarter. Before the guards discovered me, I had found a huge central chamber that housed some kind of magic portal. This portal looked into a place the likes of which I had never seen before. And this portal was held open by a single source of magic, a stone set on a pedestal. Borodor, I believe it was the Nexus Stone. The Nexus Stone? Of course. What is this thing? Explain. The Nexus Stone is an item of great power. It can bend time and space to create doorways to any location within Nazgoth. I know not why the Seraphim Lord would be using it within the Industrial Quarter, but we could put it to great use. And what use is that? One who wears the stone cannot be harmed by the Soul Reaver. And is this but a legend to be proved false at the fatal moment? Oh no, no legend at all. It has been proven. The Seraphim Lord wore the stone when he defeated you 200 years ago. What? How else could he have resisted the power of the Soul Reaver? You were unable to use the sword's power, and without it, he was able to defeat you. Then I shall take the stone and use it to kill him. But know this, when I recover it, I will also claim ownership of it. I trust that is understood. Then you commit yourself to fighting the Seraphim Lord? 
There can be no turning back. I was committed to that from the moment you revived me. Nothing will turn me away. So be it. You must use the subway to reach the industrial quarter, which lies in the northeastern part of the city. Find your way past the gate that blocks the townspeople from entering. But perhaps we may leave that to your invention. Uma? Once in the quarter, look for the main factory complex. It is there that the stone is held. I will return with the Nexus Stone and the Saraphan Lord's head. Okay, another reason why this game is considered non-canon, I presume. <laughs> I left the relative safety of Sanctuary and ventured once more into the night. The industrial quarter of Meridian was, I discovered, a heavily guarded fortress. Rather than assault it directly, I stole into the workers' coffins and began my quest for the Nexus Stone there. The sea buggy? Was that what, what it said there? But oh, sure. It was but pixelated, only had no moment there. Okay. But... Yeah, I can see another reason why this game is considered non-canon. Because a, a stone that would allow for you know, time and sp time travel... That would go against the series' entire stick of... Time travel is possible, but only, uh, yeah, in the sort that if you've traveled back in time, it is only because you had traveled back in time before. Uh, more yeah. than ever these days. I see yeah. two of the and also, the also uh, someone in should be in control of it. Basically, what I meant with that is that in Nosgoth, uh, any attempt, any attempts to change history, only succeeds because they already changed history, and therefore, it is a stable time loop. The only, <coughs> the only exception to that is when. The, uh, a paradox is created, and... Really, you need a device to move rocks from one side of the room to the other, and not just... ...extend the conveyor belt? Yeah, let's... Let's shut that, uh, ...monstrosity of inefficiency down, then. Just why? Unless they're supposed to activate the stone for something, but that doesn't look like a magic stone to begin with. If, if, okay. if it were to be activated by physical in interaction, or then you could just as well put someone with a rock next to it, with a stone hammer next to it, and just go uh, bang it every time a stone comes past. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, th th that one was basically that it was made by a child. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. It, a stone that would allow for time travel would, uh, yeah, be a big no-go in this uh, world's philosophy. Yeah. Er Especially when it's meant to, for the only time that part of Sapphire is when the Zoo will face it itself. Yeah, that's the only time really that paradoxes and changes to history happen. But even then, I think uh, the world will bend around that. So, meaning that if you do manage to change the past, then everything up till de after that will get changed. Uh, to make things work uh, som somewhat still the same way, unless it absolutely cannot, and at that point things get really screwy. 
Yeah. Okay, where the hell are we supposed to go there? We turn something off with this. The problem is expect that the stone is part of the pillars or... Oh, wait, no. Oh. Really? You have a switch and then a valve or something? The Serpent Lord is indeed a Hildren. Or seems to be possessed by one at the very least. Oh, hello there, big boy. Uh, time to test out the new sword then. Taste my blade. <laughs> Come on, how absolutely terrible are you people? <laughs> Got you there, bitch. <laughs> yeah, it it keeps switching between toggle and hold again. That is really screwing with my ability to parry. And well, not really. Parrying can be done automatically, but it really screws with my ability to dodge those. A yellow and red attacks. Yeah. And what is where kill the person there since Yeah, he put it a bit long. Yeah, it's just a technician and we we'd only get a bit of blood from that. Uh, okay, this is inactive. Okay, what does that mean then? Do we need to go back downstairs and switch that that thing away again. Would that keep the door open or would it close? Hmm. Good question. I presume since the door has already been opened that it will stay open. I guess we'll find out now. Yep, still open. I still find it rather stupid that they have doors that require electricity to open like that. And just in time. <laughs> could hardly see anything there. Well, I could just imagine that, that kind of door would be harder to break through. But then we would expect them to make it. Uh, not so easy to use them. Yeah. Like a key. Hmm. Oh. Like a body struck in the floor. That's an evil kind of thumb. What should we do? I always do. Go on like we never heard nothing. <laughs> never heard nothing. Look at the painting. Oh, wait. Okay, he closes that up again. Uh, yeah, the only thing that isn't considered nudity, I presume, is because of the pixelation. <laughs> yeah. Then again, it's definitely a mature game. Like, definitely. Ah! Let's just see, just remember. All must uh, dress, then someone else with very similar attire comes out. Okay, what are you? Some sort of adventurer? Or mercenary. Actually, many female mercenaries and main mercenaries are very skillfully clad in this game. Yeah. I'm okay with that both are skin clad. And when I show off the bodies, this is a little bit comical. Anybody there? 
then again, they were taking a big step further with one of the council games, the Black Sun, I think, or Dead Sun. Where the women and men on a magic group only killed the left side of the boss. Yeah, yeah, you, you talked about that before in Soul Reaver 2. Yep. It, oh, oh, come. Come on. Oh, yeah. Did you see that there with this door? It didn't even... It didn't even touch the other wall. Oh, come on. That's just bad architecture. Yep. But yeah, I remember talking about it. But yeah, if they were to make it, it, uh, the game again, I won't be surprised if they plan to push the limits. Will you follow her? These humans never look twice in my direction. Little do they realize their future lord walks among them. Now, tell me of this place. Omar tells me the Nexus Stone will be found in the main factory beyond the dam. There will be a gondola to take you there. If this is deactivated, you must look below for the glyph to repower it. But be careful of the guards. Have you any further wisdom to dispense? I sense the presence of another vampire close by. He may be watching you. I will whisper you again when it is needful. Once again, I began to feel the obligations of power. To deal justice fairly to all. One day, my people would know me again for their lord. But the vampires who were traitors to their kind would know me first of all. Okay. So it's it's pretty much ensured then that we are going to have to activate this gondola. Ah! Ah! Now it's toggled on again. Okay, well, quite they agile. They sure are. Again, they ain't really... Yeah, you say their outfits. It's not really movement impairing. Yeah. <laughs> it's... Oh, I, I think I actually see the gondola over there now, or at least a mineral material gondola. Yeah, I just... You know, this one's deactivated. I... I actually forgot what the heck a gondola is. <laughs> what, what is a gondola again? Uh, give me a moment. It's basically those uh, hanging cards. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay, now, yeah, now I remember. Now I remember. Uh, holy. Come on! Yep, come on, give me your sword. Thank you. It went into auto walking again there. I, I just do not get why this game just decides to be temperamental. Well, probably because it's an old game running on a modern system, so wires are going to get fried one way or the other. Yeah. I hope uh, that the, on the, those people on the, the good uh, side just take this one day, look through the games, and fix them. They were apparently known to fix all the games, so why not this one? And probably because it's not really uh, one, maybe not wanted, but not very uh, well remembered game. Yet the uh, Warhammer Mark of Chaos had it. The heck? What are you? Uh, okay. <laughs> um, call us Darth Kane then. <laughs> Destiny of uh, Duel of Fates starts to play. Wait. Was that so? Was released at the same time like as this? I don't think so. I, th I think the, I think Star Wars Episode One released in like the nineties ish. 
I don't remember myself, but it was the 90s or after the 2023, like the year after this one or something. That's a good question. I know I was a kid during that age. Yeah. And already then, I was having very mixed feelings about Jar Jar. Uh, I personally didn't mind Jar Jar. Uh, I must say that uh, episode one was the first Star Wars that I ever saw, so that might have been a factor. But it wasn't, it wasn't yeah, me. let's just say that uh, I've personally had more experience with annoying characters, so maybe I was just more resistant to him, to his yeah. antics. Same, like. Sure, he had some annoying moments, and some moments I thought he was coming. But I never really understood the, or the hate for him. Yeah. Also, I like how the blades of that thing just come out. Like, like it's literally just a metal lightsaber. <laughs> or in this case, a giant switch blade. Really? That tune? <laughs> that's that's a hunting tune and hold, hold on a second. Is it an Easter egg? That's the very same tune that Rottweiler was playing on his Ramophone in Neighbors from Hell. <laughs> Oh. Okay, this guy got the drop on me. <laughs> oh, now we are hunting. Uh, these guys don't have bullshit vampire detective armor. So, yep, come on, he... He turned away right as I was making my attack. And get out of the target lock. And uh. Will you follow that? These humans never look twice in my direction. Little do they realize their future lord walks among them. Now, tell me of this place. Uma tells me the Nexus Stone will be found in the main factory beyond the dam. There will be a gondola to take you there. If this is deactivated, you must look below for the glyph to repower it. But be careful of the guards. Have you any further wisdom to dispense? I sense the presence of another vampire close by. He may be watching you. I will whisper you again when it is needful. Once again, I began to feel the obligations of power. To deal justice fairly to all. One day my people would know me again for their lord, but the vampires who were traitors to their kind would know me first of all. I'm, go I'm going to look up Vorador's voice actor because maybe it is because we've heard him in three games now, but I, I think uh, his voice actor might be familiar to me. Yeah, he, he's voice actors, all of them voice actors are familiar. One way or another. Okay, so we can interrupt their combos if we're quick on the attack. Like there again. Okay, give me that. Yeah, it's easier easier time doing that with uh, your uh, claws than other weapons. It would make sense because you don't have to swing your. You don't have to swing as wide. Uh, so, yeah, you could much easier just jab at people and let's grab this thing again because 
it's just <laughs> randomly li laying around here. Yep, and we wanna see what it does. Uh, I think we can take a preview now. Oh, oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and on the throw it is. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that <laughs> that's just so dumb of a way to do that, but it makes total sense because it is. <laughs> uh. My face is smiling too much. Uh. <laughs> I'm in my seat in my shower. I've almost blown up the shower again. <laughs> yes, I was almost going up on the floor again laughing. Okay, we need to get you a, a video camera as well for that. <laughs> oh no. If that's going to be a common thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't this how we got up last time? Well, you usually get up when you uh, oh. jump and climb. I'm dumb. Oh? Everyone back here. That's empty. I forgot we have to jump again. Okay, I do not want to break this thing. I want to enjoy it as much as possible. We have to fight with it quite effectively. Yeah. yeah. It, oh, go on. It, it would have a lot of range. Because, well, it's so freaking long, it's, it's basically a pole arm. Yep, and I heard as a, a guy called Shadow Rose, they had talked about it would work as an effective weapon. Yes, it would work in a battlefield. Yeah, because tip in medieval battles, things basically always uh, went down into just pure mayhem. Yeah, and but it didn't have to measure. <clears throat> and yeah, th those things wouldn't be very good in close quarters, or at least when every time you'd have to swing around like that, you'd be more likely to hit the person standing next to you than the enemy in front of you. Yeah. However, as a skirmish weapon, or like a adventure weapon or something like that, where you may have more room to do, use it, then yes, it would be an effective weapon. Probably even a popular weapon in the tournament and such. Could be. Okay, I like something here. Like, I can't go any further to the right, to the to the left here, because I'm trying to get in for a sneak attack, but it, it's not misty beyond where I'm standing now, so it automatically keeps me to the mist. Nice. I yeah. presume. Can I get closer? Yeah, I don't see any mist there, so I, yeah, I, I really want to see what the stealth t kills are with this. Yeah, wait, I just realized something. I think the blades are longer than the handle. Yeah, they they look like that. <laughs> ah. Yeah, they are. Uh, it's. It's just the same as the other swords. That's a bit of a disappointment with, with that one. Well, that means... Wait, do we have several... Yeah, I think you have one more to do then. 
Okay, now we do the standing still one. Okay, that... Oh. <laughs> that is a, a unique one. Yeah. And Wait. that blow wouldn't be more powerful. Just, yeah, you see yourself, yourself. It takes a bit more time. Wasn't that the exact same move that Maul used to kill uh, Qui-Gon Jinn? It's basically... Uh, yeah. Okay, th th so this thing might just be a one giant reference <laughs> to Maul. And that thing is tempting, but I want to, I want to use this thing. I want to use my double-sided uh, <laughs> saber. <laughs> Well, in this case, I'm double-sided so wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> just, just how silly that... that just a, a silly little hunting tune. It is kind of charming in our own way. It's just so silly. <laughs> no, it would explain how much power it has. Even yeah. if it pushed out. Which actually means it's quite terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of means don't play around with it. I'm not seeing anyone with weapons. Oh, okay, four levers. What do each of these do? Open up the furnace. Okay. Wait, is that causing more steam? I guess this is the solo one then. <coughs> Pardon if that was audible. As usual, I do. I film these after dinner. Hey, so morning. we are almost at two hours, so we can stop at the next. Oh, there's someone armed. We can stop at the next. Save points. Yeah, for once it has been a bit smoother, and we have many times ended it a bit earlier than before. Yeah. So, yeah, this checkpoint can basically make up for it. For today, it has not been as annoying as the others. Yeah. We did have we did have to suffer through that. Uh, I okay, for a moment I thought that was going to be a, a steampunk uh, jet engine of sorts. <laughs> Wait, is it just a? Is there anything um, with this thing? Okay! Yeah. I think it's a torture for the... It's a battery for something. Yeah. Okay, this is a bit odd. We go faster on this than the box itself. Okay, that is odd. But that also explains why that means a tube. Yep. Simply a mix of being liquid and gassy. What is this? A marketplace? Uh oh. Does it sound like something is overheating? And why are we getting a vision of someone else? 
I'm the artist in the door. Seen anything like that? Don't touch it. I heard it's magical and dangerous. <sighs> they say that about everything. The workers move them all the day. Come on, won't do any harm to. Oh, and now those two come at me as if I was to blame for that. Like, what do we have? Hmm? I think you just witnessed the uh, live a Darwin Award. Yep. <laughs> okay, that is the save point. Save, save the game, like I said. We're okay. still. Yeah, we're still four minutes from two hours, but uh, yeah, it could be another ten or fifteen minutes until the next one we find. Or more. Yeah. Though I will say that this game is doing a lot better with the saves than, well, Soul Reaver 2 with only the save stations that you have to go back to every time. Yeah, do the others did the save stations much better. Okay then. Uh, once again, I'm looking at the uh, users in chat here with uh, this, well, not the stream manager. I'm literally just watching this, this stream on my phone and checking who is in chat and not. Though OBS here still says there's only one viewer. So, yeah, I'm guessing it's using that same anti-bot thing that Beanie has, that it uh, flags inactive <coughs> or it's flags people who don't chat or something as bots or something I, I don't know I don't <laughs> I certainly haven't installed anything really on purpose with OBS it's just the basic stuff in here yeah and then again most games we've been playing are definitely games it's a bit hard to read comments on I have that I have the steam. I have the stream chat right on my, on the side of my second screen here, so I, I can see it out of the corner of my eye, uh, when, when I'm playing, though I can miss it at times. But yeah. 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 Um. All right then. In reverse elf alphabetical order, uh, have this too. Thank you for uh, having me to watch, uh, tonight. <laughs> uh, go with him. Well. Uh, thank you for coming with us instead of him, whoever he might be. Uh, top, for top here, um, I think I came up with something last time, but I've already forgotten. <laughs> so, or is, or is it supposed to be payer or something? I, I have, I, yeah, I'm drawing a blank. Sorry. For noons, thank you. Uh, have fun uh, playing golf at noon. And electrical longboards uh, coming over from Beanie, I presume. Uh, electrical skate is still MIA from the internet, it seems, but it's still nice to see you around. And of course, special thanks to Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome. And uh, yeah, this has been Blood Omen 2. Uh, tomorrow we'll be having something Sunday again, so I'll have to install a few more games, test them out, and see how they go. Uh, I know one that I'm going to try, or not really try, I'm going more show, and that will be House Flipper, which I was planning to only really go through the tutorial of, to show a bit of actual house flipping instead of just cleaning up someone's house, uh, but by now I've already flipped like five full houses. <laughs> <laughs> it's an oddly addictive game, because you, you can just mess around be, and be a bit artistic, uh, with it, which is, I guess, why people, well, a lot, why a lot of people like it. But we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Uh, yeah. For now, though, until next time. But until then, until then. Be safe, folks. Watch out for hamsters.